Het lijkt me wel als, 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 lijkt nou Hollywood of wat dan, als je Hollywood te verstaan. Dat is ons leven, dat is ons brood. When news broke that crayfish stocks in trouble, it definitely put a dark cloud over, over the community. Small-scale fishers in South Africa, they're in crisis. They're grieving. It's like someone who has no identity. Being a small-scale fisher, it's a hard life. My grandfather was a fisher and also my father, so I'm a third-generation fisher. For some kids, there was beautiful cars and the trains. We play with rock lobster. I never thought of my food as a prime export. Very heavy commercial exploitation in the 50s and 60s. That's what pulled the population way down. It's a high value commodity. High value commodities attract high levels of illegal, unreported, unregulated fishing. It is big business among criminal gangs. They keep fishes in that vicious circle of poverty. Closing the fishery is not an option. Yet there is technology available to really try and break out of the cycle. There is no work for the fishes. There is no esteem for the fishes. We have data. From traceability to market empowerment, we're really crafting what sustainability looks like. Never before have you actually been able to trace the fish back to its true origin. They're simple technologies, but they're integrated and interconnected. Through our lobby, I can feel that I am moving somewhere. It gives me a vicious circle of poverty. It all starts with this West Coast Rock Lobster pilot. Let's see if we can break cycles which have been entrenched and are driving this fishery potentially towards collapse. And we need to do that now.